Hello everyone, uh, I'm back on this bungalow again. Uh, I fitted the doors last time I was here. Decorator's been in now and he's given them a couple of coats of Osmo water. They're all um, they're all nicely sealed up now. What I've done today is put the uh, latches in, so they're all in nice now. Just the last job I'm going to do um, before I can put the stops on here is to fit the handles. Now these handles are a uh, lever on rose uh, bolt type handle, so that's actually quite nice. And uh, I'm just going to do a quick video to show you. Um, the way that I've found is fairly easy to set out for these these holes here. Uh, they have a, a screw and this little sort of threaded sleeve that um, that bolts them through. There's a, there's corresponding holes in the latches, so you have to make sure you have the right latches when you're using bolt through handles. Uh, what I tend to find generally, and I'm going to try and do this one-handed and film it. Uh, these holes here tend to be 40 mil apart, uh, so they're 20 mil um, either side of the spindle. So if I can just if I put that on the 100 mil mark there, look, you can just see. So basically they're 40 mil centers. So what I've done is I've got myself, this is just a piece of, um, I think it's eight or nine mil ply. And what I've done is drilled a hole through the center, which is where the spindle goes, and then I've marked 20 mil each side. And what I basically do now, I've mounted some rubber on the other side of that. So what I do is get the spindle out of the pack, put that through the hole like that, and then I'll put that into the latch put my square across this edge here and then pre-drill them and that gets them in the right place and nice and square. So let's do that. So I'll just start off with a small pilot drill in my drill. So I've got the spindle uh, pushed through. Um, so what I'm now gonna do is push that through the hole in the latch and that's located. And then what I'm gonna do is get my square and hold the square carefully on the end of the door because these have been pre-finished. Hold it so that that's square. And I'm gripping it, keep gripping it with these two fingers, clamping it, and then just put a little, a little mark in there, don't go, on, go mad. And now I'll do the same from the other side. Where's the door? Let's see if I can get that. Where are we? That's not too bad there, is it? Yep, same again from this side. Stick it in. And then push the square up. Again, I'm gripping the door with this hand, those two feet there. So square up, get it so it's square, which it is. And then just stab that with a pilot drill. There, and now they're marked. So what I'm gonna do now is put a slightly bigger drill bit in here to drill in from each side so it accepts the screws. Just nice and gentle, don't need to go mad because what you don't wanna do is go too fast and blast out the other side. If you're offline, you might make a mess because these holes are actually quite close to the edge of the fixing plate of the, ha of the handle. You go through there like that. Lovely. Same through the other side. Nice and gentle and you should just nice and carefully be able to line those two holes up. Really careful, don't go mad. Okay, so that's now ready for me to and put the bolts in. What I've got to do on these is I've actually got to cut the screws down a bit because they're made for, I suppose they're made for if the door's slightly wider. So I'll cut those down and then we'll put, get that put on. Now I've come to my saw horse and um, it's got this sacrificial top on here which I, which I change when it gets too rough. Um, it's, it's got a few battle scars on it but what these battle scars are quite good for is if you ever need to cut uh, anything like these screws, you can actually just lay them in one. So what I've done, if you can just see, there's a small mark here. So I come to the same uh, cut every time lay that screw in it and then with my junior hacksaw I can just cut it off and it'll be the same length, save me measuring them so it holds it and dictates its length. It's length. So that's one, put it into the black mark there, hold it, plus with the edge. Absolutely brilliant. Now what I do is zoom back out again, I've got the big boy, this big file here, so I just pick another uh, a groove, let's find one anywhere we like, just there, and then all I do is just, fi just file that rough edge off. Does two things, filing it, cleans the thread up, but also gives it a, a tiny bit of a point which makes it easier to locate the, uh, the female part of the screw on the other side when we put it in the handle. Right. 
that's both those screws cut down and now we can go and put them in. Right, we're ready to put the handle on. What you can see there is I've just put a little wedge under the door just to hold it steady. So I'll put you back there. Now we can get the, uh, the handle ready. Right, so I've attached the spindle, uh, it fixes in with a grub screw in the handle here. I've attached the spindle in one side and I've loaded in, these are the sort of, they're like mini cartridges actually, they're the sort of female screw, they've got a flat head on one end, so I've put those in, loaded them all in, so we'll tickle that in first, get those so they're in, lovely, we'll just, oh, there you go, lovely, so that's that one, and now I will Move around a bit so you can get the feel of that. Just don't close the door. Just put that there. So what I'll do now is see, I'm probably going to get my great big bombs. Is going to be in the way there, isn't it? If I do that, where have we got there? Right, now let's put the other side of the handle on. And I'll say, it's almost like, let's go fishing. So we put that on there. Now we've got to try and find, I've got my hand on the, a finger on the other side here. Now we've got to try and find that screw. Let's see if we're lucky. Sometimes it goes straight in. Let's have a look. I think we're a winner. Straight in, look at that. And that, because we just filed, because I just filed that, although I filed the rough, um, part of the thread off the end where I cut it just gives it a little bit of a point it's it makes it easier to try and find that female part of that um, screw on the other side or so we're just getting that somewhere near now what we've got to do is get this one in same again a little bit of sort of wiggling let's see if we can find it let's see it's gonna be for the camera it's gonna go first time let's have a look I think we're in. They don't always go like that. <laughs> Sometimes there's a bit of fishing. <laughs> That's great. So just the right size clearance hole. You don't want the clearance hole that you drill into this door to be too big, because as I said, look, it's quite, you can see that it's quite close to the edge. So if you drill too big a hole, A, it would slop around, but B, it might come out actually outside the rows. So that's great. Put that on there. You just need to be careful I don't mark this. Get the screwdriver off there. Right, Rough, roughly line that up square. Now I've got a little flat screwdriver that I poke in the other side, and then I just use the Phillips one for this side. Let's get that somewhere near. Always got to be super careful here. You don't want to slip because these doors are sort of pre finished, but we'll just nip that up. Lovely, starting to get some good tension on there. Flat that one down. Screw on there, so I can't show you, but on the other side, I'm holding the screwdriver on and holding the door handle down, which gives me enough space to get that in there. So I do these up nice and tight. Let's have a look where we are. Lovely. So what we need to do now is just, I need you to spy it down just to make sure it's square, because there is a little bit of adjustment here and there on those. Nope. Um, if it was tilted slightly up or tilted slightly down, you can actually just, just force it and it moves that rose a tiny bit to get it exactly square. So looking at that, I'm happy with that. So what I'll do now is just tighten that. I'll tighten that right home. And that's absolutely brilliant. Super tight. Now, there you go. Just with that little, using, so just using this sort of homemade jig what it does is rather than you sort of having to measure from the door and get the holes what you're doing is you're measuring from the spindle which is always going to be relative to the latch because it's going through the latch so these are always going to be in the right place so it's just a simple tiny simple little jig it's getting a bit loose now I might make another one soon but just a bit of rubber on the back helps it grip on the door I find it a really quick and easy way of helping me fit these bolt through latches all I've got to do now is probably just put um, those anti-turn screws in there. Um, it will be fine on its own, but I think if you put those additional screws in, it just, you know, if, if you've maybe got, if there's children or something going to be living on here, they could be swinging on the doors and slightly move them. So, another little job done, and another little jig. Carpenters are well known for making bits and bobs like this to help them on site. Anyway, thanks for watching.